Welcome or welcome back to our channel, Living on the Ohio River. Hi, I'm Kara Henshaw with Key Associates Signature Realty. And I have some guests, which I'll explain soon what they're here for, but what's your name? Chris Bloig. Ron Smith. If you're new to our channel, make sure you tap that subscribe button. We're doing uh, at least one video a week on Southern Indiana or Northern Kentucky. So why are we in front of this house? And what are we doing today? Um, so we are in Richland, Indiana, a very small town. How big is Richland? Do you know? Pop top of your head? 400. 400 people, a very yeah, teeny very town, yes. And why would you want to live in Richland, Indiana? That is the question we are going to answer today. So stay tuned if you're looking for a small, quaint town, trying to do some big stuff in a great new house as an opportunity. Okay, why I have Ron and Chris here, I call them the Richland Builders. <laughs> I know, but seriously, there is some big stuff going on in this small town and I just like we talk and kind of give an idea of what we're doing here. So what is Richland doing, Chris? I'm going to start with you. Well, actually. In the last two years, right? Or yeah. So? In the, well, it, it goes back farther than that. Okay. But the uh, people that lived in Richland have come together and, and wanted to clean their town up and uh, have really pulled off miracles for the town of Richland. And just to give a little history, Richland, probably in the history of most people thinking of Richland, very much a rental community. I mean, a lot of people, investors that rented out houses, correct? Very much so. And, and also back in the day, we hear stories about people that how Richland was one of the best thriving towns uh, in the county. And they'd like to see that come back. And that's what our goal is. We're, and we are in Spencer County, just so everybody knows if you are new to the area. Um, so it kind of got run down for a while, right? Absolutely. Because of all the rental market here right. and, and right. just the, the care the of the homes. The dilapidated houses, yeah. uh, lo low maintenance because of rentals, and uh, we've gone back and, and tore down the ones that couldn't meet code and bringing brand new houses to town to meet code. So you said tear down houses. Like, you know, it's not an easy thing to do. I'm gonna go to Ron now. Tearing down houses, I mean, that's not normal. <laughs> well, literally a lot of the houses were deteriorated enough that they needed to be tore down and, okay. and with the help of uh, you know, starting to enforce codes and, and, and a very vibrant people running the town and once they got incorporated they started uh, trying to force the codes and you know with a little bit of help uh, from the town and then there's a few individuals here in town that uh, kind of got together and we started they started buying up houses tearing them down and, and basically when you do that you're you've got inbuilt infrastructure to put new houses on it. Yeah, because you have sewer and water and sewer, everything here. Everything. So. Fiber optics. And we have high, Fiber high, speed, high speed internet. And so basically the town, with the help of uh, us and a couple of the other people. And me as an agent. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm just joking. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, we, uh, we actually ended up, they've tore down probably 18 houses. And, and 18, that is amazing. In two years, roughly? In, around that, about that time, yeah. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't drove through Richland, you need to drive through Richland. That's been <laughs> And right now, we're probably back on 15 new houses in town yeah. uh, that we've put up in the last uh, two years. So, so new construction, uh, so you said 15 homes, roughly? What's the price range you'd say most of these have been around? Like, uh, just to give an idea of people. We're going to start at 200 up to, uh, I mean, I've built one that was probably 325. Yeah, mostly ranches. Yes, mostly. Yeah, so 15 to 1800 square feet. Yes. Three bedroom, two baths, and four maybe. Yeah, yeah. this one's actually a four. Uh -huh. Now, we're going to tour a home here shortly just to give you an idea of it. Uh, why Richland? Like, Richland, when I, I, obviously I get that they're doing all the new stuff, but from a location standpoint, they, they are in a great location of getting to different amenities, aren't they? It's prime. Yeah, You're so. You're 15, 20 minutes from Evansville, 10 minutes from Owensboro. You're two miles away from the elementary school, uh, great school systems in Spencer County. Uh, five minutes away from the high school, middle school. Uh, it's kind of a hidden gem. And you are in South Spencer School District if you are looking yes. and, and investigating the area. Uh, you got a great park here in town. And Absolutely. I know, and I know they're working on a lot of grants just to do even more yes. for the town here. I mean, obviously that's Baseball fields. Yeah. Not not officially yet, yeah. but they're working on it. <laughs> it's coming. <Yes>. To come. <laughs> to come. So, uh, but yeah, the location is dynamite. I mean, Absolutely. you just can't get logistically um, from a, if you kind of want to be more rural, 
right. but still have closeness to a lot of shopping. And great neighbors, great town to live in. Uh, as very, we're we're very building, golf cart. very <laughs> golf cart. They yes. like golf carts yes. here. Yeah. Uh, if, if anything's going on, you don't need security cameras. Anything oh, yeah. going in town, your, your phone's ringing. The neighbors saying, "Hey, you left your light on. Hey, your door's open. Hey, it's great yeah. people. Great town to live in." Uh, as a lot of the subcontractors we use, they said, "There's somebody that stops by every hour to talk to us." <laughs> Just a friend. It's a very friendly town. Good, good place to live. We are going to do a quick tour here. Uh, we'll walk in, and uh, since it's your house, uh, we'll let you talk. All we'll right. Talk to you. I'll yeah. let him sell your house. Yeah, more happy to. <laughs> Go ahead. So come on in. Oh, well, we're in the warm now. I'm happy. Yes. It is cold in Ooh. November right now. So, uh, sure. so this is your typical type of house you build, right? Yeah, we have uh, four or five different prints that we're going off of in Richland. Uh, not to say that we're stable to do just those uh, prints. They will do custom build both of them for yeah, you. Absolutely. Uh, it's actually, we, we prefer you to have a print already picked out. It's a lot easier on us. But this is basically uh, what we're building off of in Richland, nine foot ceilings. Uh, three, this one's actually a four bedroom house. Uh, one of the better blueprints for a four bedroom house on low square footage to keep the, the overhead cost down. And do you always do no carpet? <clears throat> I know a lot of people do carpet in the bedroom, so it all depends on the house, right? Right, yeah. absolutely. But this is tile floors yeah, we, or laminate usually one my, or the other. My choice is uh, always trying to, it's obviously more expensive, but uh, we try to, to put tile in the, in the entire house instead of laminate in, just for upgrades. Yeah. Uh, people that's going to be living here, you know, this is their forever home. They don't want to have to change their floors out in five years. So Ron, I know we're in Chris's house, but what are you typically building right now? <clears throat> well, about 1,500 square feet and basically nine foot ceilings. We do uh, a lot of different upgrades. I've got some radiant floor heat going in some of them, which is a big upgrade on, uh, if once everybody's had radiant floor heat, you will change your mind about a lot of others. Never go back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, you know, uh, and a lot of things too that there's a lot of, all of Spencer County qualifies for USDA. Yes. And you know, people think, well, that's all low income. Well, not necessarily. They can go up to $330,000 for, for, for USDA. In Spencer County, In yes. Spencer County. So, you know, and I, the, the jewel of, of Richland is the fact that you can see that the communities go in the right direction. Yes. Uh, and and uh, it's just changed so much since, the first one I started down here, I was scared to death. Uh, you know, <laughs> At I, least I mean, he's honest. I, mean, I, I, stuck a, I stuck a house down here, and you know, it sold before I had the, draw, had the roof put on it. Yeah. You know? So that's, it's just been a, and. It actually was probably good timing with just how the market was. Oh, yeah, absolutely. To help Richland really get going, because it was needed. And the, yeah. the, the town, the town itself helped me get started the first, because I, I started pretty much with the first ones. And you know they incentivized me enough to help me get started. But now, I mean, and property values in this town are going up, and mm -hmm. basically because of the fact what the town's done, and what Chris and I have done to, to put new houses in here, and and that's back to the it's really kind of back to the fact that the, the towns, the leadership of the town pushed a lot of things through, and, and you know, and it's just been great for the it's great for the community and the county. I yeah. mean, I just can't, and, you know, and the town did it all themselves. You know, they didn't get county help, they didn't get anything. This is all done by the town. They went after it and got it done. Which you know. means they care, because it That's wasn't right. just supplementing money, that this is what they wanted to see. So, I mean, if that tells you where it's going, that's great leadership. Oh yeah, and I mean, it's pretty funny, you sit in the town board meeting at the end of the year and they get paid for their town, you know, all the money they get paid for being on the town board and all of them sign the check over and give it back to the town. Oh, that just tells you what the town, these people are, want this town to grow and go in that direction. And they've just done phenomenal, man. Uh, but they've, had, you know, they've been great to work with and Chris and I work well together. We don't, you know, we don't always bid against each other. But, uh, <laughs> One steps back. Huh? Oh yeah, it's, and it's not a big deal, you know. You know, it's, it's just a great place to work down here. I hope you enjoyed our video on just a little bit what's going on here in Richland. If you'd like a little piece of this paradise, uh, of what people care about in this town and want to be a part of it, give me a call because I can hook you up with these two. <laughs> and uh, we hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time.
See you then. <laughs>